Hello and welcome to the first video for rpodmod.com. Uh, there was another website that uh, I, I actually used to watch and about a year ago they stopped putting out videos. Uh, but anyway, I finally decided it's time for me to start modifying my RV and the struggle with searching the Facebook group because uh, I am involved with the, uh, the owner's group. Great group of people, a lot of good detail. But stuff kind of gets buried. So if I say, uh, what inverter do you guys use? What door window do you guys use? It's not always easy just to find the reference that you're looking for as far as what mod you preferred. Um, so I, I bought rpodmod.com uh, and I decided to, as I go through these, I'm going to post mine. I'm also going to post other people's so that we all can use them. If somebody says, no, don't use it, then uh, you know I'll pull it back off. But uh, I pay for the site myself, so I do use an Amazon store to help recoup some of the cost because there's, there's actually real cost uh, when you own a website. Um, I, I seriously doubt I will profit off it, but if I can break even or even make a few bucks, uh, it'll be worth it for me just to have the mods all in one place. Uh, but it does take a fair amount of hours, which I'm not worried about. I just want to get the mods. So you can see behind me, this is going to be the first one I'm going to cover. There's two. One's extremely simple uh, and was required by the wife once we bought it. I'll show you that one in a second. And the other one was my idea because uh, she's a TV watcher. She has a spinal injury, so she doesn't sleep that many hours in a row. So even when we're camping, she has to occupy her time somehow. So she watches TV most of the night. So anyway, let me show you what we've got for the first video for rpodmod.com. Okay, so here is the very first one. We basically, I think we just went to Walmart picked up a mirror and you'll see these little tabs sticking up which you you don't have to go that way I wanted to be able to remove it if I didn't like it uh, or if we get a better mirror or who knows whatever um, but she wanted a full length in the I don't dress classy as you can see by the video she always does so she's got her mirror to verify application of the proper clothing uh, anyway that's an that's an easy fix actually that one's coming loose a little bit I think oh no that's the backing is it's a real cheap mirror uh, if it comes loose, it's not a big deal. Uh, but anyway, that's our very first mod we did the weekend we bought it. Here's one I just added after uh, one season of using. This is a Best Tech. Uh, it's a little 12 volt inverter, and I'm going to show you the top here. Hopefully, we can keep everything clear. I know it's upside down, but that's the way I wanted it mounted. 2.1 amp chargers and 1 amp chargers is four USB. Um, I have a personal cell phone, she has a personal cell phone, and I have a work phone because I'm pretty much on call most of the time so I try to have that available but uh, I just want to show you how quiet it is I've also got a similar brand in my truck and it is noisy of course this isn't plugged into anything so it's going to be quieter but just off the get-go I mean it's just a tiny little hum of the fan I'm sure as it gets a lot more juice it'll be louder but uh, this TV will be going so I doubt it's going to be any issue at all uh, very solid product what I did is I just hardwired it right through here, and there's a 12 volt line that comes down because you also you power your light switch down here, and uh, your your um, outside light, you know, your porch light. So I just went right off of that. Uh, so whether you're plugged into Shoreline or whatever, it's going to always go off the battery. It'll always be available. And, you know, I used to kind of get worried. We park out in the middle of nowhere. This has never been plugged into Shoreline while camping. Um, but I disconnect the vehicle's battery, so there's no way of, of us dying. I also keep a generator, which I'm going to hopefully convert over to uh, solar just for the charging. But we keep a generator online because I'm an air-conditioned freak. And if it's 80 degrees, I'm whining. And I like to uh, be cool at night. So when it's 100 degree evenings, I like to have that AC able to run. Uh, but yeah, so so that's the one. You can see you get your three plugs. So what we're going to finish, and I'll just snap some photos. And 